Thank you for tuning in to the Scenic City Crokinole Classic semifinal round. This is a Tier 1 National Crokinole Association event, and we have a very exciting matchup for you. On your left, we have the team of Jeremy Tracy, currently ranked 18th, and Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked first in the NCA. We last saw this team place third at the World Crokinole Championships. Up against them are the returning Scenic City champions, Ron Langell, currently ranked third, and Josh Carfiello, currently ranked second in the NCA. To learn more about these teams, watch our overview video, but with that, let's get to the action. This will be a race to nine with Langell to shoot first, giving Tracy and Hutchinson the first hammer of this game. Hutchinson taking his time and oh goes a little bit long. A 20 opportunity here for Carfiello. A 220 advantage would certainly be a strong start to this round and he gets it very nice. Back to the 20s race. Tracy doing work to balance out the cup. Langell unrelenting. Hutchinson taking a second to reset before this shot, hoping to correct from that first error. And oh, correct, but too much, coming up short this time. Carfiello going more on the defense, it seems, as he leaves his disc very nicely posted. Bit of conversation between Tracy and Hutchinson. Looks like he'll be going for a more aggressive play. Trying for a bounce back. Didn't get the right angle on this. And Langell not super content with that. Leaving Hutchinson with a few options here. Hutchinson will be going for the further away disc. And oh, it wiggles on the line. Will it come back in? And not quite. Despite Jeremy's uh, hand gestures, <laughs> the uh, red disc lands on the line and is out of bounds. Carfiello bringing the 20s advantage up even more. Langell and Carfiello up three in the cup now. One disc on the board. Very strong position for them. And it looks like Langell is content just to stay away from the center. We will... Very nice touch 20 from Hutchinson. Still a 220 advantage for the other team. But Carfiello coming up short, leaving an opportunity here for Tracy. We could see a shift in the tables very soon, but Tracy lips out. See what Langell does now. Not sure he wants the 20. Oh, looks like he pushed through a little bit. I don't know if he was going for a follow through, just hoping to go away. That disc wiggles a bit, comes off. Damage rule there, making sure that it doesn't make any contact with other discs before it comes off. If you don't know about the damage rule, make sure to watch our video there. Hutchinson trying to carve in, but to no avail. Langell and Carfiello with four discs on the board, 220 advantage. Tracy and Hutchinson have a lot of work to do. <laughs> For those of you not knowing what a... Uh, Tracy's talking about, he's looking at Fred Slater, who has his infamous technique of waxing a disc. Didn't quite work out for Tracy, as Langell again content just to get play away from the center. I think shots are definitely inconsequential now, unless Carafiello drops his red disc and takes off a bunch of his own. Drops his own into the 20. <laughs> Tracy having a laugh. <laughs> Joking that perhaps there should be some discussion before he shoots. Uh, of course, his shot inconsequential. And Langell Carfiello will take the first round, bringing the score 2-0. Two, two we see this very nice touch 20 from Hutchinson. But alas, Langell and Carfiello were able to take advantage of every opportunity they were given. Going way further up in the cup than Tracy and Hutchinson could catch up to. Carfiello, the first to Mitch. Hutchinson and Tracy with the lead now. Tracy converting on that backboard. Now they are the ones with a 220 lead starting the round. Langell, very consistent with those open 20s. And Hutchinson now lips out Garfiello with an opportunity to balance the 20s cup, which he does with the off to go. We are down to a nine disc game back to this 20s race and Tracy bounces out. 
not in the worst spot, but they are playing against a hammer, so Landrill content just to get play away till, at the very least, till they see a better opportunity. Hutchinson also biding his time, not going for anything super crazy there. And Carfiello loses his shooter. Right back to where we were a few shots ago. Tracy able to correct his earlier mistake. Langell again unrelenting. I don't think we've seen a miss a 20 yet. Three 20s for each team now. And Hutchinson comes up short. Could be a touch 20 opportunity here for Carfiello. Shooting up the left side. Very nice. Going up in the cup. And even if Tracy gets this with that one disc on the board, that could cause problems for them later down the road. See here now, Langell content to roll away in between the posts where it's difficult for Hutchinson to work with. He could be able to squeeze in, which is what they're discussing. It's a very thin line. Nice, just able to push in there a little bit. Not quite all the way, and Carafiello content to just hit and stick between the posts there, leaving Tracy a not very nice leave. Down to the last few shots. Langell and Carafiello will just be looking to keep any opportunity away, and Langell makes a little bit of a face there. Could be a touch opportunity here for Hutchinson. Oh! Gets the off, but goes just a little bit over. Carafiello not hunting for that 20. A smart move, forcing Tracy to go for a follow-through. And not quite. All Langell needs now is the off and to stay on the board. And they will take this second round going 4-0 to zero on the scoreboard. We saw a lot of nice shots from both teams, but Langell and Carafiello played defense very well there and were able to capitalize on a few opportunities stealing that round. Carafiello coming up short again. Very uncharacteristic for him and we see Tracy rolling away. Beautiful shot. Leaving Langell a tough but doable shot here. Able to get it. Angling a bit towards Hutchinson but it looks like they are switching to the defense. Perhaps correcting from the first two rounds knowing that they cannot leave any opportunities for the other team. Carfiello trying to get in there, came a bit too close. Tracy now with a very nice touch 20. Now up in the cup. Landrill, yeah, again with the 20s. I think we can assume, I'm gonna stop commentating on <laughs> Landrill's open 20s because we can just assume he's gonna hit those. Tracy and Hutchinson now debating the best course of action between a touch 20 and a roll away. Looks like he's gonna be going for the 20 here. Or I guess the roll away, my mistake. Now he did roll closer to Carfiello, so Carfiello does have the chance to bring play back to the center here. He catches a post, but able to just get in between there. Might be touching the line of the 10, but leaving Tracy with a somewhat difficult shot between the posts here. Able to get it with the off and in a nice spot where Langell will have a tough time working with it. Langell, lots of action in the middle, but rolling to the outside again. Hutchinson and Tracy are doing a great job with board control right now. And that disc is a lot more center, which could make it more difficult for Carfiello to get play back to the center. And oh, just about got the 20 a little bit short, but left a chance for Tracy here. Oof! Tracy loses his disc and Langell very nice. Able to bump back the black disc there. Taking away the 20 opportunity or at least the easy opportunity for Hutchinson. We are over halfway through our bullets here. So, oh! Hutchinson was definitely going for that. But comes up just a little bit shy of the center. Carafiello now. Debating his options, I figure it's either get the 20 or get away. They do not want Hutchinson and Tracy to catch up now. They are playing against the hammer, so... Yep, Carafiello rolls away. Tracy does have the opportunity to angle back in. We'll see if uh, he'll go for something similar to what Carafiello did. 
few shots ago. Oh! Mistakes repeated, leaving a backboard for Langell. Langell not super happy with that. He definitely wanted to convert, but again, not an easy opportunity here for Hutchinson. Tracy and Hutchinson knowing they only have a few shots left, so Hutchinson needs to go for this. And oh, he gets the off, but uh, doesn't, doesn't really push forward. A little bit of a laugh there. Players sharing a chuckle. Definitely not the worst. At least didn't give Carafiello a lot of options. Kind of tough to make a 20 off that or to have a lot of control. But Tracy now, hunting for those posts. Doesn't get the bounce back he wants, so. And Langell will just be trying to get play away from here. I think Langell wanted to roll away a little bit more. Now Hutchinson has an opportunity to tie the round. A difficult shot and oh! Tracy applauding a good effort. Unfortunately, five points short. Landro and Carafiello will take the third round. We see both teams, again, taking advantage of every small opportunity they're given. Landro and Carafiello's defense there was fantastic. They're now up six to zero with Hammer going into this fourth round. One and one in the 20s cup. Hutchinson now to shoot. Going long. His disc ever so slightly posted. I don't think it'll pose any issues for Carafiello. Nice off there. Sticks between the posts. Tracy and Hutchinson taking a second to discuss their options. Tracy with an amazing assist. Leaving a backboard and the red disc in a difficult position. <laughs> Landrell knows this is his only option and ah doesn't quite catch the red disc that was close just caught that post Tracy forced that error now leaving Hutchinson with an open 20 coming up short not able to capitalize on the opportunity we'll uh, definitely be seeing that assist in the uh, replay for sure but uh Carfiello now maybe with a 20 opportunity but again they do have Hammer, but Tracy and Hutchinson with two discs on the board. Langeo and Carfiello aren't necessarily comfortable here. So it'll really come down to if Carfiello feels confident about the 20. Oh, he was definitely going for it, but that red disc bounced back from a post, knocking his out into the 10. You hear Tracy talking here. I think he's okay with that. He doesn't want to set Langell up with any doubles. With as many discs as they have on the board, they'll at the very least be making Langell and Carafiello work to uh, get a strong advantage here. Hutchinson with an opportunity, but it's tight. I'm not sure. Players are discussing. He could either knock his own disc that's in the 10 up into that black disc for a touch 20, or thread the line here it seems it is definitely tough going through your own is always a risk but looks like Hutchinson's lining up to go between kind of thread the needle definitely can't go up the side there he most likely catch his red disc on the other side of the post and there it is very nice a little fist bump from Hutchinson and Tracy. That was a very thin line to go through. That was a great shot. Now up in the 20s cup. Lots of discs on the board. The tables have quickly turned. Landrell and Carafiello press back onto their heels now. Tracy could really up the 20s advantage if he can hit this backboard. I think it's close enough. Able to get it. Lots of, lots of touch 20s here. But again, 220 advantage, definitely serving them. Langell unable to get in the middle there. As it stands, Langell and Carafiello are down 30 points total. Hutchinson getting the team up another 20. 320 advantage now. Carafiello and Langell need to be trying to get play back to the center because, yeah, they have a lot of discs on the board, but certainly not enough to uh, equalize that advantage out. 
And Tracy opens the door ever so slightly. And Langeo, the first open 20 he's missed. And certainly a costly one for this round. I am shocked. <laughs> Langeo hasn't missed one yet. And yep, Hodgenton takes full advantage of that mistake. Now up four in the cup. Carfiello unable to get the 20 there. I think shots are inconsequential here unless Hutchinson and Tracy bump a bunch of black discs into the center on their shots. Tracy very wisely choosing to keep play on the outside of the board here, leaving Langel and Carfiello absolutely no options. Players taking their final shots. Again, I really think it's inconsequential. Carfiello taking his final shot. Tracy and Hutchinson getting their first points. We see this beautiful assist from Tracy that forced a mistake out of Langel. Langel went for the right thing, but uh, yeah, that was amazing strategy from Tracy. We see some awesome touch 20s from Hutchinson as well. Certainly earned those two points. Langel right back on track. <laughs> able to score the 20, not quite able to get it into the cup. It's okay though. We don't uh, score by uh, how well you can get it into the uh, 20s holder. <laughs> Hutchinson and Carfiello on gear with their 20s. We saw a lot of misses in that last round. So players now on track except for Tracy. Making faces there knowing Langell's going to capitalize just like that. Now up two in the cup. Hutchinson and Tracy do have hammer but now being down a 20 they will need a mistake out of Carfiello and Langell here. Carfiello not giving that mistake as we get right back to this 20s race. Tracy Overcorrecting. <laughs> we see him making a few facial expressions. If you know Jeremy, you know he talks a lot more with his expressions than with his words, which is truly saying something. Langel, with a mistake, didn't hit the red disc at all. Caught the back of the center, making his shot invalid. Hutchinson will be looking to bump his own disc back. Very nice. He apologizes, but it's still in, forcing play to the outside. Tracy and Hutchinson still have work to do. They are down a 20, but they've quickly closed down that advantage. 220 lead that uh, Langell and Carafiello had just a few shots ago. Langell being sure to keep play away from anywhere that Hutchinson has easy opportunities. I'm not sure if Hutchinson meant to hit and stick there, but... At the very least, if Carafiello wants a 20, it'll have to be a follow-through, but I suspect he's going to roll away. And he rolls a little bit, but may have opened the door for Tracy here for a angle in. Catches a post in a weird way, at the very least, leaves a red disc in a nice spot, but uh, this situation could get messy very quickly. Langel, considering his options, might be looking to bump that red disc from the outside, the far side of Hutchinson. Looks like he's correcting to go in here. Loses his shooter. Yeah, that was, that was posted, and Langel went a little bit too strong on that. I suspect he just wanted to touch it, but a uh, bit too much power. Loses his shooter. Hutchinson now could have a touch 20 opportunity here, which is what Tracy seems to be suggesting. Oh, Hutchinson catches a post. Another invalid shot. These last three shots supposed to have been causing nothing but problems. We'll see if Carfiello can break the curse and properly deal with this red disc. Mm. Fourth shot in a row. That red disc caught a post. Didn't quite go off. Tracy unable to get it off here either. Langel may be able to get a 20 here. He does. Very nice. Just a touch. But uh, good being gentle on that there because he could have lost that black disc that went down to the 5. Hutchinson going to bump up his own but catches a post on the way in. Now, Carfiello does want to be a little bit careful with this final shot. It'd be tough to set Tracy up for a great opportunity to turn this round around, but again, 25 points total on the board once you cancel things out. Hutchinson does want to get it off. 
and he wants to make sure Tracy isn't set up with anything. I think that does it. Landro and Carfiello should be taking this round. And that's that. Bringing the score 8-2. to two. Landro and Carfiello now one point away from winning this semi-final match. We see Landro capitalizing on every opportunity he is given. Landro and Carfiello also have hammer in what could be the final round as Hutchinson comes up short. Carfiello taking a lot more time with this shot. Again, he either wants to get in or get away. We will see what he does. It looks like he was going for that 20, but certainly not a bad spot for his shot to land. Between the posts in a tricky spot for Tracy to work with. Tracy looks like he was aiming for that post to come back. Not quite enough power there. And Landro content just to stay between. I don't think there'd be a touch 20, so Hutchinson's going to either push or hide here. Trying to push through, but stays just on the line there. Carfiello most likely hitting and sticking, maybe a bit of push. Catches a post, bounces in a little bit, but again, not a great spot for Tracy to work with it. Lots of action off the post, but coming out to the outside now, this could be big for Langel. Yeah, puts that disc in a beautiful spot. I think Hutchinson has to shoot through Hogan's alley. Maybe he sees it from the outside. We'll see what he's able to do. And oh, just barely catches a post. Tracy Hutchinson sharing a bit of a chuckle. But Carafiello takes full advantage of that mistake. Tracy and Hutchinson on their heels now as Tracy isn't able to come in. We'll see Langel hide again right behind that post. I think that's, that's an even better hide than last time. Although, at the very least with this one, there's no question he has to go through Hogan's. Nice. Hutchinson able to get that very nice shot. Carafiello just needs to stay on, keep playing on the outside. And it looks like if Tracy wants to get in, it'll be a thin but doable line. Tracy able to get play back to the center. And no great opportunities here for Langel. Looks like he'll be trying to roll back out, but leaves that disc on. Hutchinson, Tracy going full aggression here. And he gets it. Very nice. A little bit short of losing the black disc, but uh, at least balancing out the cup here. We are down to three shots each. Again, Langel and Carfiello do have the hammer here, so they are in a strong spot. Oh, Langel comes in close. Maybe an opportunity here for Hutchinson as Tracy points out a potential double 20. We'll see what Hutchinson is able to do with this. Oh, got the double, almost caught that post. Carfiello taking his time because he knows he cannot set up Tracy. They are one win away from moving on to the finals. A little bit of a time skip here as players take time to discuss their options. And Carfiello just keeping play to the outside might be a little close. I don't know if Tracy can make it in. Considering his options. And he goes for a high. But Langel and Carfiello, no, they just need the peel. And Langel gets it. With a beautiful hit, players shaking hands as Langel and Carfiello take the win. We see some highlights. We saw this beautiful 20 from Hutchinson. We see this amazing attempt at a double and a 20 off the post, just barely missing that. And the winning shot. Langel dealing with this hide, losing his shooter for the tied round. Congratulations, and these players will be facing off against the winners of the other semi-final match between Nathan Walsh and Garrett Tracy versus the Beerling brothers, Jason and Ray. Make sure to stay tuned as that will be coming out very shortly. If you like this match, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to join the expanding Crokinole universe. My name is Garrett Tracy from Tracy Boards. Thank you for tuning in, and make it a great day.